Matthew Holt here, and I am on with my good pal, Abby Don, who these days, although she has a long and varied career as an interesting, hang on, what do we say, Abby, patient and uh, participant in the healthcare system, but also a long career as a, as a user experience designer, and now heading that up at, at uh, Athena Health uh, via Hippocrates. So, Abby, you have something interesting to tell us about what Athena is introducing today, a new, uh, a new and interesting tool for all of your users. So, what is it and why are you here? Well, th thanks, Matthew. Thanks for your interest. Uh, I'm here today uh, as the Vice President of User Experience and Strategic Design uh, at Athena Health, focused on particularly mobile development. Uh, and we're introducing today a new product called Athena Text. And Athena Text is designed uh, with physicians and their staff in mind to help them collaborate and coordinate care in an increasingly fragmented care system where patients are going across multiple care uh, practices, and it's often really hard to share information. Um, you know, you mentioned that I'm a patient, and in my own recent care, I had a um, scan done at one uh, facility in San Francisco, and in order to get those results to another facility, I actually had to walk them over using what we uh, used to call sneaker net. Uh, and so, Athena Text is really designed to help close those kinds of, of care gaps. So there's interoperability, but then there's also just the, the casual conversations that need to happen uh, between physicians and their staff and then be between physicians and other practices. Uh, and anyone who's been in and around a healthcare system knows that often everyone's in a hurry up and wait mode, right? So one person's waiting for someone else and then someone else is waiting and you can't really move forward because you don't have the information that you need. And so Athena Text is a real-time text messaging. Uh, on the one hand, you might say, well, What's, what's new about that? You know, we have iMessages on our phone. An important piece of this is uh, that it's HIPAA compliant, enables HIPAA compliance, and it's secure. Uh, and it also integrates with uh, uh, Athena Clinicals, which is our electronic health record platform. Uh, so it works both for people on Athena Clinicals, uh, as well as people from within Clinicals who want to communicate out into the world. It's free. Uh, on the uh, within clinicals, it's available on the web, uh, and the, it's also available via mobile on Android and iOS, uh, and the Watt, Apple Watch. Uh, I don't know. I'm babbling. Did you have another question? All right. I, I, well, let's stop babbling. So, so let's think about the world of, you know, enterprise and uh, outside the enterprise communication. There are obviously people who've taken you know, a couple of players who've already taken, you know, various EMRs and sort of text enabled them. Uh, you've also got big players emerging like HipChat and Slack, particularly, um, you know, building kind of instant message in a new generation for enterprises and communication across that. And then for you guys, of course, since the acquisition, have got uh, what, half a million doctors on Hippocrates, which is another platform, you know, a mobile platform, mostly around drug information, but obviously with communication pieces. And then if you think about other players who are putting together physicians informally, like our, our friends and neighbors down the street at Doximity, you know, there's a whole different way of thinking about how do you do 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 uh, do text. So I, I guess the question is, how much is this platform, you know, going to be for that sort of plug in the gaps around where the EMR doesn't quite work, um, and how much is it, how much, or how, and or how much is it going to be, you know, superseding kind of the uh, the rather clunky EMRs that we have. Not that I'm accusing of being a clinical being a clunky EMR, but you know what I mean. Sure, that's a that's a great question. So. I think we anticipate a variety of use cases. Like I said, to start, we have our Athena Clinicals base of users, and that's physician and medical assistants, nurses and other clinical staff, even the front desk and billing. So in that setting, we're seeing people within the practice communicate with each other, and then we're also seeing them reach out to other practices. So that's kind of like scenario one. Um, and it's very tightly integrated uh, in something we call the collaboration panel uh, it, with clinicals. Then the second scenario is uh, we have a set of physicians um, at a particular practice, and then they are out in the world. Um, and so in this case, now the office staff is using the web version, and this, the, perhaps the physician is going back and forth to a surgical center. Uh, he or she might then be using the mobile version. And that's still within a practice. Now we go to the people they then share patients with. And that's really where we're seeing uh, kind of the biggest opportunity. This isn't intended to just like randomly chat with your, um, you know, med school buddies or your, you know, your colleagues. Like we have LinkedIn and other, other services for that. 
This is really about communicating with people with whom you share patients. Um, and I think that's really where the gaps in care coordination are right now in the health system. Um, and then we happen to be able to leverage a few other nice features. So as you mentioned with Hippocrates, we um, have our Hippocrates drug database, which people are very comfortable and familiar with using Hippocrates for that. And so if, for example, you're asking about, you know, should I continue this medicine? And, you know, a lot of times people come in for surgery or, or other things into the hospital setting, um, and they're on a variety of meds. Uh, and you might want to reach out to the physician that had prescribed that and double check or say you're going to change something uh, while someone's under your care, you know, change a dose or perhaps even stop it. I'm not a physician, but these are the kinds of things we've heard people talk about. Um, then you can start uh, keying in the name of that medicine, um, and then it links into our Pocrates database, just so we're, everybody's clear. Like we are, in fact, talking about the same Synthroid or the same dose of Synthroid for, as an example. Very cool. Well, look, um, you, you've given a couple of explanations of some of the ways it works. Uh, let's see it. Um, All right. Well, I'm going to hand you off to my uh, colleague, Deuce Cruz. Deuce is a user experience design lead um, on Athena Text. Uh, and just as a plug, he also came over. We also worked together uh, at uh, IDEO on a variety of healthcare uh, projects. And here at Athena, all of our products are designed uh, collaboratively across user experience, product management, and development. And then we are also supported by a, a tremendous amount of people, uh, particularly in marketing, and in this case, product marketing as well, to help get the word out once we've developed our, our products. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to let Deuce turn his screen on and show us both uh, the web and the mobile version. Thanks, Abby. Matthew, can you see my screen? We're all good. Take it away. Excellent. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of use cases that we have that Abby started to touch on. Um, to begin with, just to explain the way my screen is laid out, on the right-hand side, we have Athena's EMR. So this is our clinicals product. And the Athena text feature is located in the speech bubble at the bottom. And if I tap on the speech bubble, I pull up the communication panel. On the left-hand side of my screen, I have a view of my um, iPhone. So this is a live demo, um, and I've logged in as Dr. Jane Doe on both the iPhone and in the web. So as Abby was saying, there are a variety of reasons why doctors want to reach out to others in real time. Um, you could have a question about medication. You could have a question about availability for a clinician. So let's say I want to um, talk to a cardiologist about my patient. Um, I can look at them in my, I can look them up as a colleague because we're part of the same practice. And I can then send a question to the doctor. Um, let's say I have a question about Mr. Smith. Um, and I want to make a quick referral. Do you have time to see Mr. Smith um, tomorrow at 2? Um, need to change his um, prescription um, from, let's say, Lipitor um, to something else. So what I was just showing there was the ability to attach a link to a drug. So building on our relationship with Hippocrates, um, we can add drug references to our messages so that when you send something over, the receiver can then click on the drug and see information about that, you know, if that's useful in the, in the particular situation. Um, the interface exists in real time on both the web and the mobile phone. So if I go over to my mobile device um, and look at the conversation, I can see exactly the same conversation I had um, with the Epoch, the Hippocrates doctor, um, in the same place, you know, viewed in, in, in a remark in, in a similar fashion. Um, if I want to add somebody to this conversation, let's say the doctor responds and I need to bring somebody else into the conversation, I can go into the conversation and add somebody. I can add somebody um, to the conversation that is either inside my practice or outside my practice. So in this case, I have 
colleagues that exist um, both in our internal tests practice, but also what we call personal colleagues. So I can add an orthopedic surgeon uh, to the conversation. We get some feedback to that. He shows up in the list. And I can say, you know, yeah. can you um, also join um, for a consult? Um, and now we can all see that conversation and be part of it and then coordinate care without having to worry about um, voicemail or messages or being on hold. Um, not only can we send links to drugs, we can also attach photos. So for example, if I had a photo of the patient or in this case, um, my phone, um, we can attach those to the conversation and they also show up in real time in both places. All of the content is securely encrypted on the device and on our back end. So we maintain HIPAA compliance um, throughout the, the exchange. Um, photos that I take on the device are not stored in the photo library or anywhere else outside of Athena Tech. Um, if there are a group of people that I speak to regularly, I can also do things like create a group of let's say nurses that I might talk to repeatedly um, and then I can address messages to them as well. So maybe I have a set of doctors. Um, you know, I can add my Hippocrates friend. Um, I can then also add, you know, potentially others in my group as well. And that's um, the whole Hippocrates database. I mean, uh, or potentially you've got that access to the whole database. So we do have access to the entire Hippocrates database through what we're calling our provider directory. And here we show um, everyone that is a registered medical provider in the United States. And we also can see um, if they are using Athena text and make connections with them. So we leverage the same provider directory as Hippocrates. And this allows us to look for colleagues that we know um, that might be in our area. Dr. Newman, for example, in Palo Alto, um, pulmonary disease specialist, and used, used to be my uh, used to be my primary care doc. Incidentally, he does a lot of diving uh, stuff now, though. <laughs> <laughs> Random stuff. You got yeah, you have him on. Good job. So very cool. So basically, I mean, I think uh, that's great. I mean, it shows you a, a wide variety. You can probably uh, un unshare your screen now. Thanks, Deuce and uh, Abby. In terms of uh, you know where you're heading with this, obviously you've got you know the core of people who are using Athena Clinicals. Um, and then you've also now got obviously the, the, the bigger group, uh, the bigger group for uh, Hippocrates, um, that big group of doctors. Give me a sense about how you think this is going to uh, going to going to going to play out in terms of you know how this thing is going to spread and how you're going to use it. Sure. Well, one of the things that one of the features that we have is the ability to in, uh, invite a doctor to to join Athena Text, and it's free. Uh, so. Um, we have a link also in our newest release of, Hippoc of Hippocrates. So um, just since we've become generally available, which is in just a few weeks, we've had several thousand people just tap on the Athena Text link in Hippocrates, which then leads them to download the app. Then one of the features uh, that Deuce didn't have a chance to show is something we call suggested colleagues. And so we're using the provider directory and some smarts about your specialty, about patients that you might have in common, to suggest some people, you know, not again leveraging paradigms that people are familiar with from uh, social networks like Facebook uh, and LinkedIn, uh, and we're finding that people are using the suggested colleagues uh, mechanism as a way to then reach out to people. So I think we'll, you know, we have the beginnings of a network effect uh, that will spread. Uh, we're we're also seeing that within uh, environments where there's a, a hospital-centric system, so you have a hospital and then a bunch of other clinics around it. Uh, we've got quite a bit of interest uh, from our clients and from prospects in using Athena Text as a way to connect across those systems. Uh, so we're pretty optimistic. We've only been generally available uh, for about a couple of weeks, and we just made the um, press, re press release announcement, as you know, today. Uh, so this, this is very early days, but we think we've built a pretty robust platform that will be really become the fundamental messaging platform for uh, Athena Health. 
Very cool. I think you've got a, uh, you know, you've got, got, got a, a really interesting um, concept here because you know, there is this issue about the, the, the gaps. There's the issue about what is the useful part of the electronic medical record, you know, what's the bit? It's the useful part is people, the bit that people use, not the bit, the bit that people get lost in. The, the right, providers get lost in, and then later on, you haven't, even, we haven't touched on this, and probably won't have time today. But if you think about what's going, we're now talking about mining the text chat. It's going to have a lot of in information interest in that. For you know, there's a lot of work starting to be done even on the on the general platforms like Chatter and and uh, and, and Slack about doing that. So I think uh, you know how people work in groups is going to be changed by this kind of technology. And uh, obviously, uh, it's good the healthcare isn't being left behind. So, uh, <laughs> so I think we'll uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll end there because that was pretty I think pretty pretty helpful. So I've been speaking to uh, Abby Don, who's the VP of uh, User Interface and User Design at uh, Athena Health, and with a demo from Juice Cruz, who's a senior manager in User Interface Design. Uh, thanks to both of you, and good luck with this. And look forward to seeing as it uh, rolls out. All right, thanks so much, Matthew.